Edith Warner's Tea House became a popular destination for Manhattan Project scientists and their families, as John Hunter describes. She started seeing convoys and buses going up the hill to Los Alamos. Um, she eventually put together a little tea house in one of the adobe buildings, and it was a place where people could come off the hill without getting uh, a pass to go into Santa Fe. So people could come down, they could have dinner at her tea house or have tea, and her chocolate cake was, was, uh, was well known. Frances Quintana grew up in nearby El Rancho, New Mexico. She recalls working with Edith Warner and Edith's companion, Tilano. Well, I used to know Miss Warner. She lived just across the bridge from in Ottawa. She had her house to the left side. It still stands there. Every Friday evening, she would fix us dinner, and uh, all the people from Los Alamos, her friends, would come and eat dinner, and she would ask me to come and help her. So I would come and help her set the table and everything. He was from the tribe of San Alfons. He used to take care of uh, wood for the stoves that he had to fire, and all the chores uh, that a man does, that's what he used to do. Adrian Lowry, who was married to chemist Joseph W. Kennedy, and author Jeanette Conant describe meals at Edith's. She provided a fabulous meal. Uh, she was famous for her chocolate cake. And I think a lot of us left Los Alamos with her recipe on how to make Edith Warner's chocolate cake. <laughs> when they discovered Edith Warner's wonderful restaurant, and they had a place to go that was old and charming and civilized with wonderful food. It just became this fabulous escape. Oppenheimer would take all of his uh, top physicists there. Uh, my grandfather, James B. Conant, who was one of the men who was head of the Manhattan Project and along with Groves was really the man who uh, helped set the agenda for Oppenheimer and supervise the entire progress of the Los Alamos Bomb Laboratory. Whenever he visited, uh, he always requested that they go to Edith Warner's restaurant, that it was very special, and they would have these wonderful dinners there. And they would talk business, and it was very serious business, but to be able to do it in such a magical setting made it uh, much easier and, uh, and a much, uh, much more uh, fulfilling experience.